We present dynamic object goal pushing with mobile manipulators through constrained reinforcement learning. Moving and reorienting an unknown object to a planar goal pose in real-world settings is a versatile skill that requires performing locomotion and manipulation simultaneously. The difficulty of the task arises from the large variations in the object's physical properties and the complex frictional interactions between the robot, object, and floor. Previous research has focused on fixed base manipulators pushing lightweight small objects on low friction surfaces. On mobile base robots, existing controllers relying on force or tactile feedback fail to generate contact rich behaviors and consider only position goals. Existing RL based approaches for robustly pushing with the robot's base do not consider adjusting the height of the pushing location, which is crucial for a mobile manipulator in order to maintain object balance. We achieve contact-rich pushing of an unknown object to a planar position and orientation goal using a constrained RL-based controller. Frequent contact switching enables pushing at different locations on the object's surface, achieving versatile and stable manipulation. We train the control policy in simulation using a constrained PPO algorithm. This enables the formulation of the problem with constraints and the minimization of the number of reward terms. The actor network observes the object's 6D pose, goal, previous action, and robot proprioception. The critic has access to privileged, noiseless data available only in simulation, such as object properties and contact state. The trained policy outputs 6D Cartesian commands for the base and joint position commands for the arm. The base commands are sent to a locomotion controller that generates leg joint commands. In simulation, the locomotion controller is included as a frozen pre-trained network. We deploy the policy zero shot on a real quadrupedal manipulator and carry out extensive testing with different objects. The policy successfully discovers the appropriate pushing direction and guides the robot to the corresponding side of the object. The robot consistently moves and reorients the object between two goals that are repeated multiple times. We showcase the policy's robustness when pushing objects of different mass, size, shape, and material without observing any of these quantities. Among others, the policy generalizes to scenarios that were not included when training in simulation, like a heavy cardboard box on caster wheels. All of our tests were conducted on the protective floor mats of our testing area, which have high friction and can even exhibit small gaps along the mat seams. This increases the task difficulty, but resembles real-world settings. In particular, pushing a thin object on a high-friction surface is significantly more challenging than on a low-friction surface, as the object is more prone to toppling. A key contribution of our approach is the ability to adapt the pushing location on the object's surface in order to maintain object balance and finally reach the goal. To achieve this, during training we encourage interaction in randomly sampled locations on the object's surface. As a result, for thin objects on high friction flooring, the robot pushes lower on their surface. This behavior is solely based on the observed 6D pose of the object, since the floor and object physical properties are unknown to the policy. In practice, the policy learns to reactively adapt the pushing location to lower when observing an inclined object pose.